Hey YouTubers, it's your girl Lisa coming at you. Now let me guys, I'm so happy that you guys are here with me. I am vlogging, I am going to be venting today. Yesterday was like so much, so lots of craziness, lots of like family things. Um, you know, I'm just getting kind of stressed <laughs> with everything. Um, you know, I thought I was doing something. Oh, did something, you know, to be proud of to help better myself in my career. And something's not working and everything else. And I just had like a big like blowout with my mom and argument and everything else saying, no, it wouldn't happen. And then it does. And then you lose quite a bit of money and you just, you just feel you just feel kind of crummy. That's where I'm at. Like, I'm just feeling crummy. Because I could have used things on my camping trip. Like I said, I was going to do. And, um, I didn't do that. So, but it's all on me. And you learn a lesson. And you learn from that lesson. You know, you just gotta, you know, so. <sighs> That's my little vent, my little vintage, um, whatever. <laughs> no, let's get it. I don't know if I want to play, um. <laughs> Most people struggle with standard one size. Um, no, actually, you guys, I did want to do something with you guys. Um, I want to read a comic book if that's okay with you guys. Uh, I think so. <sighs> so it's Superman. Um, space age. Um, it's by Mark Russell, illustrated by Michael, and sorry if I can't remind, like, don't know your guys' last names or how to spell or something like that. Sometimes, issue one through three, part one of the Superman Space Age series, and it says, Meet Clark Kent, a young reporter who just learned that the world will soon come to an end, and there's nothing he can do to save it. Sounds like a job for his alter ego. Superman. After years of stand, uh, standing idle, idle, the young man from Krypton defies the wishes of his father, fathers to come out to the world as the first superhero of the space age. As each <laughs> Each new danger emerges. He wonders whether this is one that will kill him and everyone he loves. Superman realizes that even good intentions are not without their black, black, flash as the world around him transforms into into a place as he just. He determines to destroy itself as he saves it. Dun, 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 dun. Can I read it for free or do you have to sign up? I don't have a PM. When I can't read Superman, and I wanted to read Superman. Sorry, you guys. I'm probably not reading Superman because it won't work. Uh, 
Um, Ninja High School was like. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Actually, we're gonna do Dragonfire in 1892. It's a 1992 comic, Dragonfire. Uh, the author was Barry Blair, miniseries. We can do Dragonflyer number one. Ooh, I like the graphics in this too. Let's click on the Dragonflyer. Okay, one comic and Okay, and there's 27 um, clicks or next. Dragonflyer, a knight. Oh, uh, wind comics production by Fairly Barry Blair and Angel D. And the lettering is by Jim Cooper. Um, but the graphics, I I that I see, it looks really good. Hello everyone and welcome to Dragonfire Volume 2 first issue and welcome to back to us as well. It looks as though our favorite night superheroes are catching on at least enough to one another few runs and a few spin-offs. We owe it all to you, our readers, for making our efforts pay off and believe me, we are grateful. Man, as I write this, bouncing along on a road and ten bus lines on my way out to Angel's Place, my partner in crime, we all have our partners in crime, mine's my best friend, I'm still trying to recover from the big three-day Great Easter, the Easter conversation held here in Manhattan last week. Fred, Green Fred Greenberg does a phenomenal job in, in his arranging his cons and truly are a major event, especially considering they happen in the heart of the Big Apple. A logistical nightmare. What's going on? <laughs> Hundreds of gas dealers, or merchandise tables, etc., along with about thirty to forty thousand fans giving me the screenings. Now, don't get me wrong; I really love going to old conventions. It's just that I feel for Fred. It's a heck of a thankless job. Doors has opened by then and Angel, our assistant, ass our assistant to David, and I was too busy and wondered any longer duty calls, but our good buddies from the big two continue to arrive and say hello. 
right there in this pouch. I mean, thanks guys. Continue on the entry back. Parted in Canada. And I'm too grateful to read all these comics. Even though they're like all in black and white right now and I can't like see it with anything. <laughs> About a half a mile along the whole broken path train tunnel leading out to Manhattan under the Hudson River. But we must continue. Um, I'm going to have to read that first. Come on, see, mere drinking his church just with the task of fighting out. Just what has been killing and multiplying people in the training tunnels. It's like a maze down here with all the vent shafts and maintenance tunnels. Oh man. Over the past few weeks, 12 horribly ripped up bodies were found in various places throughout the path network. At first, they were believed to be homeless people struck by trains as they wondered about the dark, but those pathologics reasoned different. Apparently, various Organs had been removed surgically before the bodies were dumped down here. All in the alley, a gross a business. Man, this really got me spooked. It's like a horror movie. Know what I'm saying? What you think you're doing all the novels then? That's what David. Drinks Dinkins sent us to find out. Swift, it's our job. Oh man, you're so white. Beard, it hurts. What? I don't know if I'm getting this or reading this right, but let's continue. Yo, man, light, n light know what I'm saying. He may sound stupid, but he a good guy in the station, huh? Great. I'll take your advice, little bro. Hey, coming from a kid, strolling through subway tunnels is tight, man. It's a gotta be worked. It's good to be worked. Cool. Yes, Cam. I can feel it too. A kind of pressure. Yep. Now don't go spooking us all. It, it's just a train moving. Oh man, this is whack. We got nowhere to run, man. Easy land, we don't aim to run. Over there, I think I found something. Cast your leg down the down the switch, monkey. <laughs> the tracks seem to be gummed in place by a strange type of fluid or station of some sort. Serviceman, shine your light higher up the passage. This is messed up, man. No kidding. I'm just. Oh my. What is it? Let me see. Oh. 
don't think he wants to see that. Meanwhile, in Lower Manhattan, Dragonfire HQ. Hi, Simon, check this out. You won't believe this radar blimp. What's up, MJ? I don't see anything. It's not there now, but wait. Whatever it is, it just dropped below radar level, but hold on a second. Come on, baby, don't make me a liar in front of my best friend. Then look at that thing move. And then look at the speed it's going. It's all over the screen like a crazy man flying it. Nothing can turn like that, especially at those speeds. It's a real UFO, Simon. According to this, it sets down in New York. I have a bad feeling about this. Don't we all sometimes? Across the town, a professional uh, professor Samuel String fellows lavatory and apartment. That's good, Mark. Now push. Have it all up. Wow. Hi, Lee. What's happening? How's this? Poof. Proof. Like Professor Proof. What's the big goof doing now? Looks like he's moving furniture for the Professor. I can smell him from here. Did you two have a fight or something? If you're gonna do something. Poof. Get on with it. I can't stand here all day. This is amazing. You're holding a ton overhead. Mom, don't tell me that. I know your bi biological arms and legs are powerful, but this is fantastic. Whoever put you, you together was a genius. Aren't you scared to argue with him, Mayor? 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 Mark's stupidly, but he's not violent. Besides, if he ever tried to get physical, I'd use my magic on him. Wow, turn him into a toad. My no my nose is itchy. What a dork. Too bad they didn't replace his brain with one that works. Shh, he'll hear you. I heard that. Oh look, he's throwing a tantrum. How cute. He's gonna kill us. Damn it. I said I'll call you later. What are you doing here? I don't know. You know, I always win our fights. Lugganuts. I just came to finish you off. Oh, you overbearing, angry, arrogant witch. I'll, I'll, please don't hurt me. Golly, Mark, such big words. Damn it, woman. I give up. There's no use fighting with you. Good, then why don't we go have dinner and make up now? And almost every of like <laughs> couples, I feel like that's that's true. That's true. They get sometimes the women, sometimes the men, but they they end up going out to eat. <laughs> the dark and side street is show a uh, show hall. Careful, all this place gives me the creeps. Yippee, creep me out. This whole place stinks of them. The report said the mugger ran down here. I recall the backyard. It stinks down here. <laughs> I've heard it. Well, 
That's one way to clear the room. Don't you think, Ed? Mm hmm Just stay close, man. That's no for It's rotten flesh. I hope back up gets here soon. I hope they'll bring coffee. Me too. I would love some coffee. What the hell? Man, just like I said. And yeah, halt! Oh, the SWAT boys! Am I glad to see you? There's a monster in there. It ain't Ed. He saw it. Gun him. Oh shit! I think they're all in on it. Mhm. Mm Conspiracies and everything else, they're on to it. Uh, Washington Square Park. Oh, my fingers. Sorry, guys, my hands are clamping up. So, uh, camera, classical ballet academy, New York City. Ah, oh, the echo of the gunfire and the New York night. How romantic. Hi, Jeannie. Gina. You're home early. I bet. Any. Any joke? No joke? I'm having problems with the names. I don't know, you guys. How was your day? Weird. Simon and I saw a UFO on the Dragon Dragonfire Alarm. You're luckily they let you kids goof around with their stuff. I bet they didn't know. You know? They didn't know that. They took the stuff. I bet that's what they're going to say. Kind of a junior dragonfly, huh? Or is it a reason to spend time with Simon? We help them out, team. That's what the dragonfly is for. Uh, Gina. I'll let you live here above my studio. I see, I see you every day. Everyone knows your. I don't like you saying these terms, you guys. I don't like it, me personally. Because, like, everyone knows you're gay, and I see that way you, the way you look at Simon. Being gay is nothing to be ashamed of, kid. It's a lifestyle, so don't panic. It just complicates things for me. Well said, well said. I liked how this character said it's a lifestyle and to not panic and to not be ashamed. Just be yourself. That's all, you know, just be yourself. Be positive. Be you. True that. It's all, it's, it. As it always will in our society, you will always run across some closed-minded so and so. Anyway, tell me about this UFO. Oh yeah, we saw it on the radar zipping all over the place at the super speed. I think it came down in Manhattan. Well, I haven't seen any little green man outside. It'll be great going by the book I'm reading. Oh, good. Reading scary UFO stuff late at night before bed. You'll, you'll sleep well tonight. <laughs> My lad. Not if the Mothman gets me. <laughs> good night. Oh, he's reading conspiracy theories. It kind of reminds me of Bones with uh, Jack Hamilton's character, like, Bugs and Slug. And, of course, um, conspiracy theories like Mothman, people in the pod, pod people. Proof or something. Ah, Prince. Has arrived home. I'm just leaving after helping your uncle out, Master. 
Lee, don't be a dork. A dork, no, I am your humble servant. Master Simon, have I not done all your chores? While you. While you. <laughs> off with any. All day. Lee, sometimes you really get on my nerves. <laughs> Worm. Thank you, Master, and I love you too. Pain in the ass. <laughs> Simon, is that you? Yes, Uncle, I just got home. We have to talk, boy. I don't want you hanging around with that queer kid in G. NJ? Anymore? What? He's my best friend. I thought you'd understood. When your father died, I said I'd look after you. And I will, but you will do what I say when I say it. And get out of that ridiculous uniform. But, no Simon, we must think of what my employers in the government will say. Now go to bed. So mean. Man, we ought to call the cops. This is nuts. The trail of the slime stops here. If anything should happen, I don't have enough room.